Hi, hello. This is the step-by-step -step process I use every time I insert or link civil drawings into Revit. Open your civil drawing file and uh, decide which side or which direction your project north will be. In our case, uh, we are going to point our project north to the east. What that means is that this whole drawing will rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise in Revit. Now let's create a line that will be perpendicular to the left side of the property line. This will be the direction of our project north going east. Next is to create a line representing true north. Then let's dimension the angle between project north and true north. Adjust your angle precision to max. This will give us uh, more decimal places. There are four corners in our property line. We are going to select the upper left corner by this orientation, but in effect, that will be the lower left corner when it gets inserted in our Revit file. In the command prompt, type point and select the endpoint of the property line. Then type PD mode in the command prompt again, PD mode and change it to 34. This will change the shape of the point so that when we zoom out and type region in our command we can see it better. If you click the point again, the one we just created, and look on your properties, it should give you the value for the position X and position Y. So all in all, we should have three uh, information, the X, the Y, and the angle rotation. Now uh, let's open Revit using the template. Let's create a simple wall to represent our horizontal line. Make sure that we are in our project north orientation. Now let's create or specify the coordinates at the lower left corner of our property line by going to manage then coordinates then specify coordinates at the lower left corner of our property line then we need to copy the information we got from our point in CAD remember the position X and position Y position X will become east and west position Y will become north and south make sure that our elevation is zero. Now let's get the uh, angle from project north to true north. Let's uh, double check to make sure that we type the correct information. The east and west direction will be dictated by the rotation from project north to true north so in our case our project north is from the right and our true north is to the left the direction from project north to true north is going west going to the left side so if we change our orientation to true north and zoom out a little we should see that it should have an identical orientation of what we have on our CAD drawing. Now let's put it back to uh, orientation project north. So we can insert our uh, CAD file. Go to uh, insert link CAD. Let's check the civil drawing file and make sure the positioning auto by shared coordinate is selected and also uncheck those two boxes and click open. This warning is normal so click close. 
So you should see now that your upper left corner on your CAD will drop into the lower left corner of your Revit and the left property line in your CAD will align with the wall that you created earlier horizontally. Now let's change our orientation to True North and as you can see this view should be identical to what you have in AutoCAD. Now let's put it back to orientation project north and uh, delete the wall that we just created earlier that is just to uh, help us know where our horizontal line or horizontal when we switch from true north to project north and you should be done